So you arrive in London and the first thing you see is the big gay golf cart. Hello! Quintessentially London. It's Earl's Court Square. Let's go explore. Yeah, something about the architecture in southwest London. It's a bit uh, a bit it's a it's a bit good. Long lion is long, and what, what time is it? It's London time. Look at that, look how much faster. It even goes backwards here in London. And where are we? We're near the World's End pub, former pub. We're, we're at the poor end of King's Road in Chelsea. We're gonna go check out the uh, tacky rich end now. So as a Brazilian uh, on the King's Road, I've had to come and get myself uh, a fantastically uh, priced <laughs> smoothie. All right, we're getting closer to Sloan Square for the Sloanies, and here's Chelsea Fire Station. So the Chelsonians can have their fires put out, whereas I'm in London to start some fires. Not in an arsonist kind of way. <coughs> Hello, look at this guy with good taste. Hey, thank you. As Andrew Tate would say, hey bro, what color is your Bugatti? It's clearly blue. It's a beautiful car. 1932? 38. 28. Wow, thank you. Kensington and Chelsea register office. I would like to register my interest into becoming a posh rich person, please. So, in a random shop in uh, Chelsea, and uh, it's uh, USA. Turning the not allowed's into allowed's. Yes, yes, yes. So everyone's taking photos of Rixo. Rixo on King's Road. Yep. Okay, so we're coming towards the end of uh, King's Road. It's uh, very busy. It is London after all. And uh, there's a lot of people out. It's very alive. You got your Charles Satchi gallery. Satchi, anyone? Did uh, Charles Saatchi not marry and then divorce Nigella Lawson, the chef? Or am I getting confused? I'm sure, I'm sure I'm not getting too confused, but uh, just compare the London beige brown brick to the Mancunian red brick. I guess their bricks here have a lower iron oxide content. So they've still got their bunting up for the coronation. People out, having their lunches, having their food, doing their shopping. And uh, yeah, it's uh, one of the biggest cities on earth, one of the richest cities on earth, and uh, it shows. Okay. Hope you like flowers, viewers. Okay, Sloan Square, the famous Sloan Square. They knew I was coming. They got the megaphone, they got the camera. They got the hipster, they got, look, demon man, devil man, and uh, the real, look at that. And I learned, because my viewers are clever, that it's called the footage, because it was a foot long, or something. All right, Ho Hollywood backwards, Chelsea Flower Show, Sloan Square, Fountain, and uh, the question for you, are you a Sloan Ranger? Are you a Sloan Ranger? Are you absolutely fabulous, darling? Porsche 911, cheap, cheap. Coronavirus on the top of the bus stop. <laughs> Why would they do this to me? Chelsea Bridge, eh? Oh, wait a minute. What's that, Shanghai? It's Shanghai, guys. No, it's uh, it's still London. And our next mission, I see the chimneys. Battersea Power Station. I hear it's a mall in the hotel now. Wasn't like that when I left 11 years ago. We'll find out. Battersea Park, ladies and gents. Monkey Puzzle Tree with flowering bits. 
you're not native to England, get out, get rid, no more immigrants. The Battersea Park Pagoda with Buddha who defeated the forces of darkness through compassion alone. Well this is new for me, we're uh, on the south side of the Thames and we're about to get to Battersea Power Station, which is all new now. So, yeah, we'll get closer, don't worry. Where is he from? Where is he from? From Qatar. You from Qatar? Qat Qatar? Okay, apologies for the wind noise. That moment when you come to Battersea, Batasi. It looks nice, it's, uh, it's got a Tate Modern vibes. This wasn't open last time I was in London, it didn't exist. And there's a Red Bull extreme sport concert thing. So we'll stumble upon it together. Oh look, they're waving flags, it must be good. All right, bit of drum and bass, bit of jungle. Booyah, booyah, booyaka. Get your booyakas, booyakas going people. Oh, there you go. First time guys, Battersea Power Station, Virgin. They got some old big lock, no, is that a pump? I don't know, don't know what it is. Very rustic entrance. Guys, check this out, just wait till you see, wait till you see what they've done with it. Wow. Oh, well, we will. Let's get a bit more detail. Very industrial. It's what you like to see. And we come back. I have to say, they've done a very good job. 10 points for the architect. Okay, it's a turbine hall B. And above the Levi store, you've got the control room bar. Very cool. And you've got a cage from the film Saw. Escape that one. But uh, overall, quite impressed with the Batsy Power Station redevelopment. Okay, two ambulances, no. Three ambulances and one behind at Earl's Court. Everyone's falling down, guys. Okay, guys, I've got a feeling it's one of your famous London stabby stabs because three police cars, four, five, there's even, even more down there. It's all, go all going on, Sunday night in London. So I've just come out half an hour later to see what the what the crack is with all these emergency vehicles here at uh, Earl's Court. We've passed one ambulance. London is so busy, so busy. Oh, certainly there's been some big incident. This is a lot of uh, police and paramedics for one tube station. So it's always a always a big question. What's going on? What's the crack? What's the emergency? Why are they all still here half an hour later? What's going on? In the station earlier, I didn't even see any of the police. I have no idea what they're responding to. Try and find something. See if we can find it. I'm gonna try and crack a joke. They say seek and ye shall find. There he is. So Earl's Court obviously is on the district line. A circle and district. District's the green one, circle's the yellow one. And if you know anything about the London Underground, the district and circle lines are underground. 
but they're not very deep. To go deep, you want Piccadilly, Jubilee, Northern. But uh, I do also like the architecture. It's got a nice London vibe. Oh, very good. Yellow. Okay. There's some uh, graffiti here, which uh, I wanted to share with you. Well, to celebrate the lowest ever audience rating for a Netflix show, here's Cleopatra. There she is. Bloody hell, can't remember the last time I saw an Oddbins. Oddbins! Still going, allegedly. Oddbins! Oh, Greg's. Greg's and there was his number one fan. Where, there he is. Wait. Th there he is. Greg's jumper. Greg's bakery jumper. Love it. It's got sausage rolls on it. Just a little, uh, nice little place around the back of Earl's Court. Very nice. It's so very London, darling. And I approve. I think it's lovely. How much do you think this one's worth, guys? This yellow one? Um, probably like five million. Five million pounds. All right. Getting a bit main roady here. Getting uh, a bit closer to sunset. And what the hell is this? Let me go right up to it to give you guys scale. Oh yeah, the traffic will give you scale, but uh, is it a seat? Is it art? Is it meant to inspire me? I don't know. Is it Flight of the Bloody Intruder? Is it... What's that film with that? What's that Disney movie with a little metal... You know. What the fuck is it? Oh, it's an advert. For fuck's sake. How dystopian. <laughs> okay, Putin. You take Bakhmut. You say you take Bakhmut. I take Moscow mansions. All for me. <laughs> Let's go wide angle. Very nice. Probably here on Cromwell Road, SW5. Probably for like a, a studio, you know, 200 square foot flat. I'm probably looking at about 5 million. Look at this. Street thinks it's in Notting Hill. Thinks it's got Hugh Grant going, hello darling. But no. Cheap end of Earl's Court, apparently. Best West End show of all time. And uh, what it, it's the Phantom of the Opera. Look at that. Sorry guys, FBI, let me through, let me through, FBI. Thank you. Little did I know that to try and get a drink in London, like, they all shut on a Sunday at 10 or 10.30, our man here is he's good till 10.30. And uh, I forgot the name of this pub, I'm a bit drunk. I don't know what's going on. All right, we're still in the pub. A balloon, view of London. North, wait, here we go, wait. Where am I? That looks like fucking St. Paul's. London Bridge, Southwark, Blackfriars, Waterloo. Uh, White chap, everything's upside down. None of this is making any sense whatsoever. Wait, uh, city, no, what? Wait a minute, this is West London. This is that's there's Green Park, there's Victoria, Chelsea Bridge. So, he's randomly walking through London, bloody, bloody theater, bloody theater. Okay. Yeah. Now where the fuck is Covent Garden? Leicester Square, Piccadilly Circus, and everyone's favorite fucking police force, the Metropolitan Police. 
bastions of uh, morality, decency, order and fucking people up with truncheons, mate. I'm in a strange place. I don't fucking understand any of these cants. Don't know what's going A glow pedalo trike. Okay. Like with music and everything. Um, yeah. Not for me, mate. S23 Ultra, mate. Nice phone. This one. Thanks, man. Fucking Piccadilly line, mate. So, people are like, why is there no air conditioning on the tram? True, was it a train? True. I want the viewer to see the space above the tunnel, and you tell me. Do you reckon you could get an air conditioning unit? Look at that, like one, what, one inch. No chance, mate. No chance. No chance. Okay, all Parliament Square. Big Benners. And uh, what's changed since 2010, 11, when I was living in London is this gate going into Parlo is... Uh, it's more of a fortress now because uh, you may remember the angry man with the old uh, stabby stab stab murdered a police officer over here. Somebody's get a couple of shots. Um, yeah, security has definitely been enhanced since the last time I was here. Oh, not allowed. Very, very, very not allowed. Very, very not allowed. But photon, photon, very allowed. Oh. Hello. Hello! What's it like on the inside? Is it good? Wonderful. Thank you very much. I'm, I've, I've always wanted to go in, but we're not allowed. No, 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 no. Not allowed. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, Westminster Abbey, where King Charles was given corona the other day. He's done well. My favorite part about giving King Charles corona is that they have a big statue of Oliver Cromwell the English Republican Civil War leader who, if the royals get a little bit too uppity, there's always men willing to chop their fucking heads off. And of course, the prerequisite barriers of peace for the car, car rammings of peace. You've got m more. Look at that. Big yellow tasers at the ready. You've got that there. And, uh, yeah, they've, uh, Sandblasted a lot of a uh, Big Ben and the Parliament. Let's just get a shot of your Big Ben. Look how pale it is. They've sandblasted a lot here to stop the tourists getting ass blasted, and uh, it's uh, a veritable what a pointless word. It's just a fortress. It's not veritable anything. It's just strong. And uh, Met Police vans are now red. They're red now. The blood doesn't show up as much uh, on red. It's better. But I've counted maybe so far eight police with the assault rifles. So they're obviously always, always ready for a, a moderately sized invasion. Hello. We don't do Oh, I like it. Thank you. We only do very large girth, don't we? Good boys. <laughs> it's not every day you get the uh, British policeman joining in with your penis jokes. I have to be uh, happy about that. But anyway, we've got some uh, current thing boarding the bus over there. Look at that. Well, we come along. I feel sorry for the unarmed police here. They're just the cannon fodder for when the... Uh, Inevitable. Is this Rolf Harris? No, it's... <laughs> no, I think he's very ill. I don't think that was Rolf Harris. Um, the poor unarmed cops are just the cannon fodder for when the... Uh, for wh for when, whenever whatever happens. You've got to be careful what you say nowadays. You've got to be careful. Obviously, you don't want it to, but... Uh, the unarmed ones, they're just the fall guys. Take it. 
We need to leave a few people in the wreckage, brother. Okay, you like context. The houses of Parliament, Westminster, parrots flying everywhere. And guess who this is? This is Richard Lionheart. Absolute nightmare of the Muslims during the Crusades. And he was from uh, 1189 to 11... No, anyway, 12... I can't read the dates. Maybe you guys can on a large 4K screen. But... Um, Richard Lionheart and uh, King Salahuddin, Saladin, Salahuddin, of the Arabs, they had a, a bromance going on. They realized that, yeah, I'm a Christian, you're a Muslim, but we're both pretty Chad-like guys, so uh, let's uh, stand aside as all our peasanty uh, betas assassinate each other on the battlefield. Sorry. That's okay. So, here's all the flags of the Commonwealth, Gangia, Bermuda, Barbados, Canada, UK. <laughs> Oh, bless you. Salute. And uh, as they say, the sun never sets on the British Empire. And quite bloody right as well. Can you imagine if some other country was as successful as the British? It'd all be hell. But uh, anyway, that's my patriotism done. Oh, it's restored again. Here's our man, Winston. Absolute scourge of the lefties. This man makes the troons tremble. Saviour of Battle of Britain. So, we'll fight them in the pronouns, we'll fight them in the primary schools, we'll fight them at the gender reassignment surgery clinics. We will never surrender because sterilizing children just isn't cricket. Okay, join me viewer, join me viewer down Whitehall. All government buildings, all overpaid civil servants, that kind of secret permanent government. Oh, and it's full of copos, you know. And uh, just imagine the kind of uh, culture czars that work in this one here. Department for Digital Culture, Media and Sport. I reckon they should put more men and women sports. That'll show them. Well, that there is the war memorial where Charlie Gilmore, son of D David Gilmore of Pink Floyd received a two-year prison sentence whilst he was on LSD. He was swinging off the flags. Anyway, we're here at the Cabinet War Rooms. Cabinet war Wardrobe. Cabinet Wardrobe on King Charles Street. And it is a lovely street. And they've got... Wait a minute. That, that's Iran flags. What's going on? We've been infiltrated. Or is that Persia? Is that pre... Pre Ayat, is that Shah Iran? I think so. All right, there's evidence here of a particularly savage lefty attack. Maybe it was uh, Extinction Rebellion or Just Stop Oil, but they've got beetroot juice all over Whitehall's front door here. Not allowed. Look at that. Look at that. Very, very, like, why? Why? Fucking Ribena. Okay, we're at Down Syndrome Street. This, uh, the extra chromosome is what makes it, you know. And, uh, you know, with uh, Rishi Sunak, if he's down, I'm down. And that, ladies and gents, is Down Syndrome Street. There you go. <laughs> so... Men in shining armor, on horses, we've got, oh, we've got soldier boy. We've got police, we've got all, all sorts here, we've got all sorts here. Now, I am a bad person that I want the horse to bite the heads of tourists that stand next to it. That's what I want. So one major problem with London is how bad the traffic is. Look at this, he's got another sudden, uh, Sudden cardiac issue to attend to, and uh, he got no chance. This boy here has given up with the blue lights and the sirens. He's just accepted his fate. Okay, it's the Steve Job. It's the Apple Store. Apple, Apple, Apple. Where are we? We're in Covo Gado, and uh, they're. Uh... Where is mum? Where is mum? Where is what? Mum. Mum. Where? Where is mum? What, your mum? No, not mine, her mum. Oh, uh, où est la maman? Right here. Right here. Ah, elle est là. Merci, monsieur. Okay, amidst all the 
rainbow flags, the LG TV 4K, gender this, gender that. By order of the Pope, the degeneracy must stop. And you're like, what's that flag, Charlie? That is the Vatican flag, you bloody heathens. First of all, wh what the hell are they? And secondly, how is Fireman gonna get to his fire? Watch this. It's gonna get screwed up. Well, watch this, watch this, wait. Now what? N now he just has to wait. Now he's like, yeah. He's just like, okay, I'll just wait. Yep, he's getting there. All right, good luck with your fire, bro. Okay, we're Covent Garden, Seven Dials, shoppy shoppy. Everyone's having a good time. There's a guy saving lives. And uh, if you like retail, you'll like this area. It's quite nice architecture as well. It's not too bad, it's okay. Charity man is doing badly. No one wants charity man because they know he's on like 20 quid an hour. So you're like, yeah, I'll give 15 pounds a month to Mary Curie, but uh, the first year and a half goes to the company that uh, charity mugged me in the street. And that's how it works. You're not allowed. Welcome to Paternoster Square at St. Paul's Cathedral, which is uh, just to our left. We'll try and get to it. Oh, th there he is, big boy. There's Big Daddy there. So, uh, yeah, he still stands. And uh, this square is famous that in one of these bars here, they filmed first dates. The first few episodes, first few series of first dates was in there with that that French guy. Ha ha ha! And this, ladies and gents, is the London. Oh, sorry? It's like. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Good man, thank you. It's the London Stock Exchange, you know. Why not? So, that, and there's like, you can see Fraser Group is down. I'm gonna be awkward, so please, on the doors. I'm sorry? On the doors, sir. Oh, but I'm outdoors, I'm not in there, it'll be all right. Well, you're not gonna stop me, are you? I mean, it's too late now. I've, I've, I've already won, I mean, I've, I've filmed it. Not got a bomb. Yeah, you can tell we're not bad people. And, you know, you have to say it. I understand. Thank you. So, drink it up, viewers. You're not allowed to look at that. Thank you, sir. I apologize. Thank you. Okay, we're near Bank. We're in the financial district. It's a lot going on. They got the giraffes out. Look. But, amidst all the construction noise, there is at least a little carved out church dude. Maybe it got bombed by the Natsoids, I don't know, but uh, if it wasn't for the extreme noise all around me, I would be totally at peace. So, next to the garden, you got Bank, Bank of America, yeehaw. Video surveillance by the Bank of America Corporation. It's my job. Hey, hi. Why are you taking pictures about me? Uh, none of your business, my friend. No, it's not it is business, because this is our, our property, Sorry, so I'm asking you, why are you taking it? Excuse me, first of all, calm down with the attitude. Oh, yeah. Secondly, oh. we're on a public pavement. Oh, Thirdly, this is England, so we're allowed, we're allowed to do this. So calm I'm asking you. you. Calm You're the one that started, mate. I'm not starting. None of your business why I'm taking pictures right, of that. I'm going to report it. Do it. Ooh, do what you need to do. Go on, call the KGB, my friend. All right, no worries. Call, call the FSB. Yeah. Call Vladimir Putin. Come down, mate. Come down. No, you're the one coming up to me. I'm just a tourist having a good time here. I'm asking you polite. No, you were not polite. It's on video. You were not polite. I am polite. Anyway, go on, report me. Go on. Call the SA. Call the police. Call everyone. Call everyone. And you say the guy said none of my business. You tell them that. Tell them that the man said none of my business. All right. Cheers. Thank you. Mr. Big Balls. Saint Bartholomew's Hospital with no A&E services, so do not have an emergency. 
Now, now, Charlie, you, you can't take videos of everything. You know, I want that one. I want that one. So very interestingly, at the back of the St. Barth Bartholomew's new for the 2020s, last three years, this center has been very popular. I wonder why. Oh, myocard artist for the masses. We're at the back of St. Bart's Cathedral. This is the Lady Chapel. And we turn the camera around and you've got the main St. Bart's from the top end. And it's a ancient church. It's very nice. Let's have a look at the organ. nice big organ and speaking of big organs i just want to show you this modern art there's modern art coming along here wait check this out look at this it's jesus but yeah check out this ancient narrow structure that we uh, had to go through to get to St. Bart's. So, uh, I recommend you get lost in the EC1 postcode of London. It's uh, a very inspiring financial district where every building is a box. A glass and metal Meccano set. Um, I keep asking everyone, where's Bank? Where's Bank of England? And they're all like, it's over there, that way. And then you, oh, thank you, sir. And then you walk and it's not. So, uh, yeah, just get lost. Oh, look, glass pyramid. Woohoo! Getting close, sir. No traffic. And, uh, oh, oy vey, guys. Oh, we have arrived. The Bank of England in the city of London, which is a corporation which is not under the standard powers of the rest of London. It's kind of like a financial Vatican centre in Britain. And uh, the Bank of England here is a fortress. And imagine what, what magical spells and incantations they do there to control the money supply. Now, is London still the main financial capital of the world? Probably. Probably. I know Frankfurt and New York, they're like, eh, we can try. Shanghai and Beijing, they're like, eh, we can try as well, but... It's still London, baby. Yes, I remember all this from when I worked here in the city. And uh, that is the, what's that? The Royal Exchange here at Bank, Bank of England. And uh, important to tell the viewers that in World War II, in the 40s, the Germans, the Nazis, dropped a very large bomb right in the middle here, which sunk the bank underground station underneath and it killed about 50 people. And uh, that was very unpleasant for the city workers at the time, obviously. Oh, money, power, control. Oh, Babylon. <laughs> oh, what's that? The big door entrance. Well, the older I get, the more I love money, just like Mr. Krabs. <laughs> oh, secret recipe. Okay, they're playing nice piano music here in the Royal Exchange at Bank. And it's of course Fortnum and Mason's, the cafe. And if you're ever in London and you're by bank and you want to wash your hands or have a wee or whatever, poshest public toilets in the world. It's time to look at some dinosaur bones in the British Natural History Museum. And uh, if my spider senses are correct, the Victoria and Albert's over there, museum, yeah. And the sun is shining, the weather is sweet and the museum still looks good. And the main hall has the blue whalebone. And uh, you didn't come here to look at a blue whale. Let's just have a look at a dinosaur and then we'll probably do something else in London. But I'll have a look around, but I'm just not gonna film it all. Yeah, that is the famous... Uh... Yeah, I'm the guy off YouTube. How's it going? Yeah. Do you wanna do an intro for me? All right, no worries, man. Take care. Hi, my name's Tommy, and you're watching the Charlie Beat Show. Thanks, Tommy. Whoa. 
Welcome to the Victoria and Albert Museum and uh, everyone's favorites, the Greek statues. And, uh, oh God, it's not Cain and Abel, is it? It probably is Cain and Abel. No, Samson's slaying a Philistine. I'm such a Philistine myself. But, uh, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. And cut. Well, many of my viewers will recognize this by the artist Eric Gill, who in his diaries, uh, published after he died, revealed that he abused his children. And this is a replica of the statue that people keep destroying on the BBC, and the BBC keep repairing it. Mm. Tower Hill, Tower of London, Tower Bridge behind. Well, the weather turned out nice today. And uh, look at that, they've not capped that pyramid. It's not ready yet because the plans for the new world are not finished yet. So, you know the song, London Bridge is falling down, falling... That's, that's not London Bridge, that's Tower Bridge. Tourists don't know this. They'll go, oh, London Bridge, oh, oh take photo. But no, it's, uh, it's actually uh, Tower Bridge. It's not London Bridge, ladies. Get it right. Yeah. All right, this is your free London public service announcement, everyone. That's not London Bridge, it's Tower Bridge. Get it right. It's not London Bridge, everybody. Get it right. It's not falling down either. Bloody tourists. You're not on a boat, you're looking at a moat. And this is Traitor's Gate, Traitor's Gate. And it's from 1280. So 800, 900 odd years ago. Just imagine how backward everyone would have been. Whoa! He farted and it smells like Satan. Hang him. All right. What's up, Catamaran? Uber boat, I'm triggered. I wonder if their drivers are as uh, R-A-P-E-Y as the regular car ones. <coughs> Don't sue me, Uber. Don't sue me. Okay, guys, there's a lot of complexes here at Tower Tower of London, but I think that's the, that's the main bad boy. That's the classic one we all know and love. I got a true story for my Veechlings. See that building there? It's built about 15 years ago. And the first summer, after they installed all the glass panels, the uh, concave nature of the reflection focused all the sunlight onto a big area, a small area, shall I say, on the street below. It was melting cars. It was setting fire to things. It was very dangerous. Imagine if a mother left her baby in a pram under the uh, magnifying glass focus of that building. Well, they, uh, they moved a lot of the glass panels and it no longer burns the people in the Disco Inferno. And that there, that cluster, that thing is the City of London Financial District, pretty much in its entirety. There's a few buildings behind, but you can't see them from here.